This is a device called OrCam, and it's an example of augmented reality changing someone's life. It uses that same principle of word lens and using computer vision to translate the world around you, and in this case, it's doing it for the visually impaired. So with a pair of glasses and some sensors and using bone conduction, the wearer is able to point at uh, a menu or a currency or a sign or even someone's face, and this is read back to them. And I think this is a really powerful example of how augmented reality can be integrated into assistive technology, and I would love to see more work like this. So computer vision is giving us new eyes to see the world with. And it's also allowing us to tell new stories and change the way we communicate. Here we have uh, Google's Project Tango, which can map your entire environment. So think about what that means for mapping your story world and how we can create personalized stories. Think about reading your daughter a bedtime story and the edge of her bed turns into a pirate ship. All of this is now possible. And as I mentioned, augmented reality up until this point has been primarily visual, but it doesn't need to be. The real world isn't just visual. We have touch and taste and smell. And these are some examples of that being integrated into augmented reality. And again, imagine the opportunities for storytelling by integrating the other senses. And lastly, this idea of thinking our reality, brain-machine interface makes that possible. So we've gone from image recognition to now even thinking our reality, from gaming and entertainment to even controlling and powering an electronic wheelchair. And for me, this notion of think your reality is, is more than just the technology. It's actually a, a call of action to all of you to think about the reality that we want to live in. Because, well, the good news is, is that we're designing those blueprints and we get to define what that is. So let's, again, think about the impact that this will have on humanity. And like Jerry said, how this all can make us better humans. Because I don't think we want this to be our reality. We don't want to be swallowed by our devices. We don't want to become invisible. I want to be able to see you, and I want you to see me. So let's design for technology to recede into the background and allow for human moments.